Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a mid-year check-in on my 24 to pan. In 2024, I set aside 24 makeup products that I would like to either use up or hit pan in throughout the course of this year. We are now over halfway through the year, but we're here to do a mid-year check-in regardless. Definitely let me know, be honest. I am very behind on my YouTube filming and editing schedule of all the videos I wanted to get up this year or like mid-year. Let me know when is too late that you're completely uninterested. Because if I could cross some things off the list, it might be helpful to eventually truly get caught up and back on track. That was a random sidebar. I will let you know that even though we're over halfway through the year, I'm not over halfway through my list. However, I have been making great progress on these products and you will have seen many of them showing up across my different project pans. Many of them are in my classic rolling project 10 pan. That is just the easiest as my whole collection project pan is randomized, of course, and deck of panning is prompt based. However, I do try and pull from this list when possible. But we are going to go in order of how I have my makeup in my makeup inventory spreadsheet for the most part. Uh, we might get a little confused along the way. But product number one is my Ofra Makeup Fixer Setting Spray. This has been in my Rolling Project 10 pan since last June, June 2023, and we are now way down here. So we are very close to the end of this. This will be an empty by the end of this year. I had two primers on my list, so products two and three, and both of these are currently in Project Pans. I have my NYX Angel Veil, which is in my Rolling Project 10 pan, and we are over halfway done. And then the First Aid Beauty Pores Be Gone Matte Primer is in a Deck of Panning, and this is very hard to get enough primer out day to day. I would estimate that this has less than five uses left left on it. So this is the one I'm reaching for more often. And then I will shift my attention to the Angel Veil. This Angel Veil is actually my oldest primer in my collection. So I would really like to have this gone by the end of the year as well, but I'm feeling very confident about both of these. I had two foundations on my list. The first was my oldest foundation in my collection. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. And this is officially an empty. It feels so good. I finished this up in deck of panning. I had 1.6 fluid ounces of product. That's a lot. It took a very, very long time. I think I had this product since 2017. That's old. And now my attention is on the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation. I do have mine in the shade LW2. This is the foundation I'm wearing right now. It is a smidge too light for me in the summer, but that's okay. I would estimate I've only used a third of this foundation so far, so I have a long way to go on this. I'm not confident that this will be gone by the end of the year, but I'm using it almost every single time I do my makeup. The one concealer on my list is the Kosas Revealer Concealer. Everyone told me that this concealer expires very quickly and I did not want to waste my hard earned dollars and throw expired makeup out. This is nowhere near the oldest concealer in my collection, but I wanted to make sure I used up every last drop before it went bad. And it's not showing on the bottle as well as I wish it would, but we're at the point where I'm considering taking the stopper out shortly. So once again, I'm quite confident that this will be an empty. There are two powders on my list, one pressed and one loose. The pressed powder I'm working on is my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in my Rolling Project 10 pan. I have been working on this quite diligently. I did drop it and needed to repress it. I had a huge pan on it, so that was a really disappointing moment, but I'm still reaching for it almost every single day. 
This powder had 14 grams of product in it, which I feel like is a lot. And once again, though I'm using this all the time, I really don't know if I'll be able to finish this. I'm going to need to up my makeup wearing over the last couple months of this year, but I still feel like there's so much product in here now that I had to repress it. So far, all of those products have been quite familiar to you. Now here's a product that has not been in a project pan this year. I haven't been able to fit it in yet. It is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I have been using this very frequently behind the scenes to set my under eyes. However, despite having used it so, so much, I still have a lot of powder in here and I really don't think I'll be able to finish this by only using it on my under eyes, but my focus is on the Rimmel Stay Matte. That one is older, that one works better as an all over face setting powder for me. So this might have to be rolled over into 2025 in order to finally get it gone. Technically for this list, this is a goal met. This is the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette and I wanted at least one pan showing in this by the end of the year and I did hit pan in light cocoa. I have since put this in these products will self-destruct and I want to reach or surpass 100 tracked uses on this face palette by the end of the year in order to keep it and keep working on it because this is one of the very oldest makeup products in my collection. It only has one pan. I only use three out of four of the shades. This highlighter here is absolute trash. I have since tried using it a few more times. Absolutely hate how it looks. Should I like literally scrape this out? I don't feel like it's a good highlighter for anybody. It's just not a good formula of a highlighter. And I know I'm never going to use it, but this just counts as one face palette in my collection. So it's not really going to affect my inventory numbers at all if I do that. So, so far I've just left it, but I do have some more usage to go. Over the last couple of weeks, I have stopped using the Becca Loose Powder to set my under eyes and went back to using this. And I've also been contouring my jawline with the medium cocoa shade. I'm panning too many bronzers right now to use dark cocoa, but yes, I am using this. Technically, I hit the pan that I wanted to for the year, but I'm still working on this. Now, I got a little crazy with the cheek products. Uh, this is definitely the section that I'm going to have the least success in, but I did want to push myself this year and really try and have more pans and more empties in categories that I typically don't. Um, I see many a friend panning blush highlights and bronzers and I just can't seem to do it. So I have three bronzers on my list. One I have met my goal on, this mini NARS bronzer here. I did have a goal to finish it and I successfully finished this bronzer. I know it's only mini, it was 2.5 grams, but I have never finished a bronzer before and this felt like a really amazing accomplishment to me. So much so that my next goal is to finish this Tarte bronzer. This is currently in my Rolling Project 10 pan. This is the bronzer I reach for on an almost everyday basis. There is a huge pan in this. Still not feeling the most confidence that I will actually finish this by the end of the year, but I'm definitely making steps towards that. And then the third bronzer I am working on is my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and I really want to see a pan in this by the end of the year. That again is a very lofty goal. I have 65 tracked uses on my bronzer already, and as you can see, you can still see the pattern embossed on this, so I don't know if I can hit pan in this bronzer and finish this bronzer by the end of the year, but I'm working on both of them. Even crazier, I have three blushes in this list. 
First is my BH Cosmetics Nude Color Blush Palette. And I said I would really love to see a pan in this by the end of the year. And I'm trying to hit pan in this shade, this very bright, I don't know if you can see how bright this blush is. It already had quite a lot of use on it from being in a previous whole collection project pan and that I can see the rings, but I really don't know if I'll be able to hit pan in this. Each blush has a smidgen over one gram of product. So there's 10 products in here and the weight is 21 grams of product. So 1.1 grams of blush. I don't know how hard that's going to be to hit pan on. Another blush I'm working to hit pan on is my Seraphine Botanicals Happy Hibiscus blush. I have used this blush so much. It is used and abused in here. There is a big dip forming in the center. It's a very small pan, only two grams of product in here. I actually feel semi-confident that I can meet my goal of hitting pan in this. And then another wild card, I pulled in my Ilia, what is this called? Multi-stick in the shade Dreamer to finish. I put this in because Ilia is more of a clean beauty brand. It's a really beautiful nude type of color. I love the formula of this. It can be used on your lips as well. And I thought it would be easier to work on a cream blush stick and aim for a blush empty for the year. However, I have not been using this. So this is something out of everything I've shared with you thus far, the thing I focused on the least. And if I want to make any sort of progress on this, I'm going to have to pull it into a project soon. However, I have so many blushes and projects. I don't I feel like that's not gonna happen. I have two highlighter products in this list. First is my Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter. As you can see, I have the very old packaging. This product is very old in my collection and I would like to hit pan in this this year. This is going in my graveyard project pan currently and is the highlighter I reach for most often. Another product that I've only reached for maybe once so far this year, this is the Smashbox Spotlight Palette in the colorway Pearl. This is in collaboration with Casey Holmes and I, this is what the third face palette I've put in here. I just wanted to hit pans in some of my face palettes because I feel like I don't use them that much. I would love a pan showing in here by the end of this year. I have two eye products to share with you and then we'll finish off with lip products. Both of these are in my These Products Will Self Destruct video. So I have the Smashbox Always Sharp waterproof coal liner in the shade Penny Lane. This is something that I can't track progress on because it doesn't roll back down, but I have been using this. And then the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Kathleen Lights I'm currently trying to finish off, but really I haven't been using it enough to do so, but I have made some good progress on this throughout the year so far. I have five lip products here to share with you. I'm going to rapid fire through these because my supper has arrived and it's going to get cold. My Lord and Berry Nude Lip Liner is very teeny. I think I'm going to finish this soon, I hope. The Tarte Park Avenue Princess Lipstick I have not been reaching for. This is just a mini lipstick. It's been in a project previously. There's really not that much product here, but alas, I have not been focusing on it. The next three are currently in Project Pans. The Marvelous Moxie Bare Minerals Lip Gloss is in my Graveyard Project Pan to finish. The Ofra Lip Gloss in the shade Queen is over halfway gone and you will be seeing this rolled into a project soon. Spoiler alert. And lastly, my Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nude Flesh. Another These Products Will Self Destruct product. It's very old. I'm currently trying to finish it in my whole collection project pan, but I really don't see that happening, but I have been reaching for it. It's actually the lipstick I'm wearing today. So out of the 24 products on that list, I have technically only met my goal on three things so far, but as I hope that you were 
able to tell from this video. I have been focusing on a lot of these products and some of them have just fell to the wayside as things get rolled into project pans. I can't focus on everything all of the time, but I am doing my best and I've been really happy with my makeup usage so far this year and do hope to increase that usage a bit as the weather cools down because it's really hard to wear a full face of makeup when it is so dang hot outside. But that is everything for my mid-year check-in on the 24 makeup products I wanted to pan this year. Did you compile a list like this for yourself? How are you doing on your list? Definitely let me know. I'm sure you're doing better than I am. Doing this video is a great way to check in and reprioritize the products that I haven't been lately and keep these products front of mind for project pan roll-ins in the upcoming updates. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know and I will see you in my next one. Bye!